Hey there, lovely folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fit and Fortunate, your one-stop hub for all things health and wellness. Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic that might make you go, wait, what? Yep, you guessed it, we're unraveling the mysteries of the infamous eye flu, also known as pink eye. So grab your comfy seat, maybe a cup of tea, and let's talk eyes. Alright, picture this. You wake up one fine morning, ready to conquer the world, but your eye decides to throw a curveball. It's like your eye went to a wild party and came back all red and puffy that's the eye flu making its grand entrance. And oh, let's not forget the unexpected guest, Discharge. Yep. Your eye might decide to stage a rather unannounced and not so pleasant evacuation. Now, here's where things get interesting. The eye flu can be caused by either a viral party crasher or a bacterial gate crasher. It's like a showdown of microscopic proportions, with your poor eye caught in the middle of the chaos. But wait, there's more. You know that saying, sharing is caring. Well, not in this case. Eye flu is the ultimate uninvited guest that loves to spread its cheer through things like tears, mucus, and even a sneeze or two. It's like a stealthy ninja, going incognito and then bam, you've got yourself a case of the eye flu. Now, Let's decode the signals your eye might be sending you. First up, we have the redness, your eye's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Swelling, which is like a little protest your eye is staging against the invaders. Discharge well. Let's just say your eye's doing a bit of spring cleaning, whether you asked for it or not. Pain, because apparently, your eye decided to join the superhero league and is fighting crime, red, germs, with all its might. Sensitivity to light, your eye suddenly turned into a diva, demanding all the shade. And then there's the itch, like a playful tap on your shoulder that you just can't ignore. So, if you find your eye playing host to any of these shenanigans, it's time to call in the experts, yep, the good old doc. They've got the magic potions, aka antibiotics or antivirals, to kick these party crashers to the curb. Now, let's talk timelines. The eye flu isn't one for a long stay it usually packs its bags and leaves within a week or two. Just like a fleeting guest who overstayed their welcome but eventually got the hint. But hey, prevention is the name of the game. We've got some trusty tips to keep those eye flu party crashers at bay. Wash those hands like you're about to meet your favorite celebrity, with soap and water, of course. Resist the urge to turn your eye into your personal stress ball. Keep those hands away. No sharing allowed, towels, washcloths, and makeup are off limits to the eye flu. Cover up when you sneeze or cough, it's like giving the eye flu a taste of its own medicine. And for those brave souls fighting the eye flu battle, remember, solidarity is key. Stay home, be the couch champion, and spare your pals from catching this not-so-glamorous bug. 
swimming and hot tubs? Well, they'll have to wait till your eye is back to its sparkling self. So there you have it, dear friends. We hope this chatty rendezvous shed some light on the enigma that is the eye flu. Got questions? Curious musings? Drop them in the comment section below, and let's keep this conversation going. Thanks a million for tuning in, and until next time, take care of those peepers.